Okay, we have four awesome plants in a row here. First of all, we have horsetail, which is uh, really stiff. It has a lot of silica in it, and you can use it as uh, sandpaper or as my girlfriends and I like to use it as a nail file. It works really well. And the next plant we have is Western Bittercress, which is a member of the mustard family down here. It has a, a mustardy scent and a mustardy taste. It is a, a really prolific weed in disturbed areas such as garden beds. When I worked at a, a botanical garden in the springtime, this was definitely the number one weed that I pulled out hundreds and hundreds of these little bitter cresses. And when they seed, all, all the seeds spring out when you knock into them. And then by fall, they, they're sprouting again into a, a new generation of bittercress. Very prolific. The next plant over here is a dandelion. Dandelion is pretty easy for most people to identify. It's, it's toothy. It, uh, it's, it's not really hairy. It's pretty smooth. It's uh, dead the lion, the teeth, the teeth of the lion. If you break it, some you'll see a little bit of sappy white latex exude from the broken part. It's a, very bitter to taste, and the the leaves are edible. The root can be roasted for a coffee-like substitute. And that's, that's a good one to know. The next plant we have over here is the chickweed. Chickweed's also a fairly common weed of disturbed areas and more so in lawns than garden beds, but also, also in gardens. A cool thing about the chickweed is that it has a line of hairs along the stem and they, they go along one side of the stem and then at the node where the leaves come out on either side, they switch. So, so say it's going along the south side of the stem where these leaves are, then, it, then it'll go along the east side of the stem. And at the next node it might go along the west side of the stem and it keeps switching like that. And the chickweed is also edible, and it's a fairly mucilaginous plant, which means it's kind of slimy, and it's good for healing purposes.